welcome back with a new and interesting video tutorial this video is going to be very interesting and helpful the today's outline of this video lecture is what is a variable we will discuss what is a variable and then we will discuss what is a discrete variable what is a continuous variable and then a comparison chart comparing the discrete variable and the continuous variable so let's start first we are going to discuss and we are going to define what is meant by a variable a variable as the name implies is something that varies that is that is not fixed or constant for example age export income and expenses family size the class grades the blood pressure readings the hair color type these are all the examples of the variables because each of these properties varies or changes or differs from one individual to another so a variable is anything that varies and that is not constant will be termed as a variable so the word variable has been derived from the word vary that is the changes now what is a variable definition in the research so a variable is any property a characteristic a number or a quantity that increases or decreases over time or can take on the different values as opposed to constants such as the value of n uh, that do not vary in the different situations so simply variable can be any property characteristic or a number or quantity whose value fluctuates and does not remain constant will be known as a variable in the research now let's discuss what is meant by a discrete variable so basically a discrete variable is one that takes on an finite number how what is the meaning of this definition so let's learn this by an example for example a household could have two or three children but not 2.52 or 3.12 children so simply any variable whose value lies in the whole numbers or whose value is finite and not the infinite number will be termed as a discrete variable some more examples of the discrete variable for example the number of the accidents in the 12 months that the number of the accidents taking place in a number of a year that can be uh, 100 that can be 1000 but it could never be uh, 300.26 or the 1000.16 it cannot be like in this way the second example the number of the cars sold in a store within a year that will always be a uh, you know what in a whole number for example the numbers of the cars sold may be 500 maybe 400 maybe 1000 per year and uh, uh, I, either we can also give an example of the discrete variable that is the number of players playing in a tournament that will always be in a whole number so this is all about the discrete variable now let's discuss what is a continuous variable a continuous variable is defined as a variable which can take an uncountable set of values or infinite set of the values so this simply the continuous a variable is a complete uh, the opposite of the discrete variable that is it is infinite or uh, the uncountable set of the values for example the time required to complete an mcq test and waiting time in a queue in a front of a bank counter are the examples of the continuous variable because the time required in the above examples is a continuous variable which could be for example 1.65 minutes or it could be 1.65847 minutes thus in the very simple terms the continuous variable does not uh, always be in the whole numbers it can be in the points that is it can be the continuous in any two in time intervals 
some more let's discuss some more examples of the continuous variable for example the temperature so the temperature can be the 2 centigrade or the 2.12 or the 3.12 the profit earned by the company so it is not mandatory that the profit earned by the company will always be a whole number it can be in points or it can be a continuous figure as well or we can say the height or the weight of a human body for example the height may be uh, the 5.2 feet the weight may be uh, for example the uh, 60.58 uh, pounds of the kgs so it can be uh, in the continuous form and not always the in a finite form or the countable form so these were the two uh, ex uh, variables the important variables the uh, discrete versus the continuous variable now let's discuss the comparison chart that how we can compare these two types of the variables so the discrete variable versus the continuous variable the discrete variable this is a variable whose value is always obtained by counting so for example so uh, go back to the examples of the discrete variables so you can see you will observe that the value of such uh, variables can only be obtained by the counting while on the other hand in the case of the continuous variable the value is obtained by the measuring for example we can measure the temperature we can measure the height we can measure the weight or we can measure the uh, reading of the blood pressure or the sugar level while on the other hand the discrete variables it is always uh, in the counting for example how many children do you have how many cars have been sold the next point of difference is the range of the specified numbers is completed while in the continuous variable the range of the specified numbers is incomplete and last but not the least it implies a distinct or a separate value while the continuous variable lies between any two values thank you for watching this video and share and like my channel if you like my content thank you thank you for your patience